Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be making my very first video. And my very first video, I thought it was going to be something like, you know, cool, chill. Like, you know, I guess it's kind of like a get ready with me, but it's also a story time at the same time. So you're getting two and one. And I really felt like this would be a good first story, uh, first video to tell because it has a lot of dramatics with it and it has a lot of what a lot of oh my gods in it and i was like okay i feel like this would be a first good video because i was like thinking i was like what would be a first good video like i don't know and i finally came up i was like okay you know what about the time that my ex cheated on me with his best friend i feel like that was a good uh idea i feel like that was a good topic and on top of me talking about the past I'm going to be getting my skin together and good and ready for the day. So, today's video, my very first video, will be about the time my ex cheated on me with our best friend. Not just his, but mine as well. So, let's get with the video. Before I even get with the video, first, what I'm going to do is, like I said, it's going to be a get ready with me also with a story time. It's like, you know, I want to do a thing that's like morning talks, and this is my first morning talk. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my face wash and stuff, which is Fenty. I'm not rich. I wish I was but I'm not rich and I'm really excited because Fenty I feel like you're gonna see like the before and after me like right now I just woke up literally all I did was brush my teeth and put some water a damp rag on my face and like wipe the crust out of my eyes because I didn't want to look super crazy for my very first video but at the same time I was I couldn't do too much because this is get ready with me so I'm gonna be using Fenty I'm gonna be using all her products uh or her first three products that she launched with the fancy skincare and i'm just gonna be telling you about the video so yes that that's the little interruption in the beginning let's say first i'm gonna say the boy name is t and i'm gonna say the girl name is g and that's just that and so in the beginning i'm from uh st louis missouri but in high school i had Moved to Miami my junior year, my second semester of my junior year at high school. And I was really excited. I was really nervous. I'm like a really big introvert. And I didn't really know who I was going to fit in, who I was going to talk to. I've never moved out of state a day in my life. Like, literally been the same as my whole life. So, it was really new for me. And basically, I really liked, I really wanted to be into like a group or a committee or whatever. And I was like, when I first came to school, I was asking, I was like, do you guys have any groups, any clubs, or stuff like that? Because my school didn't have that because it was a visual performing arts high school. And so, basically, our groups and committees was our majors in school. And also, let me reiterate that when I was in Miami, I was also in the visual performing arts uh, high school. But it was the middle of high school mixed together or whatever. I had asked around about groups and committees, and I was really interested in, um, I'm, I really like K-pop. And I wanted to see if there was like a K-pop group or committee or something like that. And so basically it was like, yeah, we do have that. And I was like, oh, really? They was like, yeah. And so they basically told me what time, what place, and where to go after school to like look at the committee. And so basically I was like, okay, cool. I came to the committee or whatever after school. And after I did that, I had met G. And she, you know, she was like, hi, my name is G. Showed me her other best friend, which was another girl. And she was like, yeah, we're like the um, the leaders of the uh, committee. I forgot uh, what their name is, but like the main, you know, like the leaders, like the top people that run the committee, they were those. And they were saying basically how it was like a Japanese, Korean club, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting here thinking like, oh my goodness, it's just like the movies. I've never been in the committee. I've never been in the club, blah, 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 blah. No, just really happy. And so, basically, I stayed there for, like, however long the duration of it was. And I was, like, just talking to them, really getting to know them, really feeling like, oh, my goodness, these girls are so cool. These girls are so nice. Like, I've never met anybody that really like what I like. And at this time, it was, like, a while ago. So, as, like, now K-pop is being such a trend. It is not, it was not a trend back then. Like, I'm telling you, 
K-pop and like anime and all that stuff was not a trend. Like now, when I look at people that's like you know, like famous people or like even people that you would never think that was into anime, now everybody wants to be into anime. Everybody wants to be into K-pop, and I'm like, okay, whatever. And so basically, I was just like really excited to like get to know people that was like in the same interest as me. And basically. I met them, we started hanging out even more after that, I started going to like the club meetings, I started like just really getting close to G, and like basically she introduced me to T as her boy best friend, and then I was like, oh hey T, all this stuff. Now mind you, in my head, I had just got out of a relationship before coming to Miami, and so I was not looking for a relationship at all whatsoever, I'm just trying to make friends, I'm just trying to be happy. I'm just trying to, you know, just be not as socially awkward as possible. So I'm introducing myself to T. And also, I thought he was straight. Just because I'm never going to assume somebody was gay. And I might like my gaydar did not, like, come off or whatever. So I just assumed that he was straight as well. So basically, what happened is we started hanging out outside of school. And when we started hanging out outside of school... We got even closer. So me, T, and G, uh, we just hang out all the time. Literally, uh, T's house was a walk away, like not even five minutes away from me. And basically, I had he. We used to just come over each other's house. We used to go back and forth. And I remember one day that it was me and G. We were like play fighting on the floor. We were like just rolling around and all that stuff. And T was just right there, like watching, laughing and stuff and you know I'm not thinking nothing of it but then later that night when we go home well when they go home uh I can't remember who because this is like so long ago but I can't remember who but um either G or T told me no I think it was G G she told me that oh my best friend T he likes you and I was like what and she was like, yeah, she, he likes you and he wants to get to know you or whatever. And I was like, what do you mean? And then she basically explained to her, I was like, oh, I thought he was, you know, straight. And she was like, I mean, he isn't uh, fully gay, he's bisexual, but he's still like on the DL and blah, 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 blah. Now, mind you, at this time, I was like, what, 16 years old? So I'm not... Like, I don't really know too much about the Dio world. I don't know really what Dio really means. Like, also I know it means down low. But I'm not really thinking, like, anything too much of it how I think now. Like, now, I would never in my life, anybody that's openly gay, I would, like, you do what you want to do. But I will always say, think twice about trying to be with a Dio. Unless she was like, he's Dio. And I was, and I was like, oh, okay. And I basically just told her to run down. Like, I mean, I just got in a relationship. So, I'm not really looking for somebody right now because I'm just, like, looking for friends and stuff, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And then T ended up telling me himself that he liked me. And I, I told him exactly what I told G. And once I told him, he made it his mission to be with me. When I tell you, like, because we text and talk all the time, me, him, and G. Me, T, and G, we talked all the time, so it was never, like, awkward. Like, back then, I wasn't awkward about stuff like that. I was like, oh, no, I'm okay. Things like that. And so, basically, what happens is, he made his it, mission to, like, try to get to know me. And I was like, okay, um, whatever. Like, he literally, I kid you not, for a month straight, he would ask me every day to be with him. And also, mind you, he's not my type at all at this time. Like, not my type at all. Still not my type to this day. But back then, he was most definitely not my type. I, he was short. He was stubby. He was not that cute. He literally, anything physical or what I wanted, he was the complete opposite of that. I'm telling you, like, the meme of when you give an ugly boy a chance and he end up doing you wrong is literally the definition of our relationship. I promise you that. So, basically, what happens is, eventually, because the thing is, his personality was really good. But at that time at 16, I wasn't really thinking about personality that much. I wanted somebody tall. 
I, I'm a dancer, so I wanted somebody tall. I really wanted somebody that was like a dancer, so athletic body. I wanted somebody like literally coming from my ex to him at the time was a real big downgrade. And I was like, I'm not downgraded. All I'm doing is upgrading. I'm not downgraded from nobody. So basically, I'm sitting here. I'm thinking like, okay, I mean, okay, fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. Sitting here, I'm thinking, finally, after like, I, I think like a month, I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I'll give you a chance. Because I was thinking like, you know what, Kenny, stop being so shallow. Stop thinking like, you know, stop being like that. He clearly seems like he really likes you. He seems like he's a good guy. His best friend, G, or our best friend at the time, G, like, you know, is really like amping him up. Saying you should really give him a nice uh, go, like blah, 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 stuff like that. And I was like, fine, whatever. So we end up getting together. And then when we end up getting together, everything was really cool. Like, it, I will say this, and still probably to this day a little bit, it takes me a long time to figure out if I really, really like somebody. And clearly from, like, our circumstances, I still didn't know for, like, probably, like, the first three months if I really liked him. And then I don't know what hit me, but... Something overcame me where I was like, you know what? I really like you. I really like you. And basically, I really started investing in myself in this relationship. I really started being, like, really invested. I started doing things. Literally, when I tell you, we was together every single day. He would come to my house before school because we were so close to the school that we had to walk to school. So he would come to my house before school. And... We would walk together, and then he would walk me home, and then he would go home. Like, literally, he was, like, the definition of a gentleman. He was so nice. He was so, like, he was just everything that you wanted in, like, a good boyfriend. Uh, and, like, personality-wise, like, look, like I'm not looks-wise, but, like, everything that a boyfriend would do for you, he did. He took me on my first date, on my birthday when I turned 17. Like, he we went to, like, the dinner and the movies. Like, we did all that cute little stuff. And so, basically, I'm not doing nothing but falling more and more head over heels for this guy. So, basically, what is happening is I'm just, like, falling more and more for him. And, I, like, how can you blame me? A 17, 16, 17-year-old getting, like, all of this stuff, this treatment, especially coming from not a so good relationship in the past. Like, it, it was good. And so, basically, what happened was... I remember one day, then this kind of like planted like a seed of doubt in me. I remember one day, I was in his room, I was playing a game, and T and G were in the living room, and I was watching TV, because they wanted to watch TV, but I wanted to play the game. And clearly, at this point, it's like seven, eight months in, I'm not thinking nothing of it. So, I'm like, obviously, they're best friends or whatever, and stuff, and I know that Okay, so a reason why I said I didn't curse because, okay, now a lot of people might like be like, oh, well, bitch, you're dumb, da da da, this and that, whatever. But I, they told me that they took each other's virginity and basically they was each other's first and all that stuff. And at that point in time, I was oblivious Kenny. I was kid Kenny. Like, I didn't think nothing of it. Like, I didn't think about, oh, well, maybe they still got feelings for each other. I didn't think about none of that stuff. And basically, oh, first I'm using like a lip scrub that I got from Sephora. And uh, basically it's so good. It's like a lip scrub mixed with a, a lip a chapstick. And this is what it looks like. Like this. And then I usually go with it over um, this lip balm, the Minted Rose, the Smith lip balm. It's so good. Like it scrubs off the dead skin and then this just like glossifies it basically. But basically, I wasn't thinking nothing of it, and T has two little siblings, a little brother and a little sister. Very young. At that time, they was probably, the little brother was probably like seven or eight or whatever. So, I remember I'm playing a game in his room, and all I heard is T's little brother saying, Oh my goodness, T and G just kissed. And they both, they basically was like, I can't remember the little boy name, but they was like, Oh my goodness, shut up. Like, you playing too much. Like, ain't nobody doing it. Like, basically, like, just, like, really, like, throwing it off or whatever. And I'm not thinking nothing of it. And 
I'm just like going by my day, nothing of it, but I will say it planted like a, a little bitty, 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 bitty time to see the doubt in me. And so I was like, not thinking nothing of it. And every time I was spending out his house, because on the weekend I used to spend out his house like every weekend. Basically every uh, weekend, remember he's DL. So when I was spending the night, his bed is, was like extremely small. When I tell you, it was like probably like a twin size bed that he probably kept from like childhood because his family wasn't that like wealthy. I'm guessing, I'm assuming, I don't know their wealth or whatever. I'm just assuming just how his, like, bedroom was set up. And, like, rooms in Miami were really fucking small. But, um, basically, what happened was, every night, he would always be on the phone with G. And, like, I would always go to sleep before him because he likes to stay up just watching TV. And he was on the floor because I was in the bed. He would give me the bed. He would be on the floor and make a pallet and you know, whatever. Uh, he'll be like, you know, good night, love you, blah, 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 every single night. And, like, I didn't think nothing of it, but the little series of doubt really came in when I had, you know, when uh, his brother had was talking about how they had kids. And a part of me was like, well, let me, like, I woke up in the middle of the night, and I was like, let me just listen to the conversation. And, like, you know, they were just talking like best friends, just, like, being really, like, just normal or whatever, but it was still something in me, like, saying, like, something isn't right. It was just something, my intuition, I don't know, it was just, like, something is not right about this. So, I remember one day, uh, me and his family went on some kind of, uh, trip or whatever. And it's not like a trip, but, like, we just went out to go do something. And I remember I saw his phone... Uh, he had, like, a secret, uh, text message where he could, like, he'd go to his text message and he'd put in, like, the little code or whatever. And then, like, he'd open it. And, like, he'd be texting. And in my head, now I'm thinking back, why would I think it was me because I'm sitting right next to him? But, like, when he'd get text, he'd, like, open it and then, like, he'd text, uh, whatever. He'd text G. And I didn't know it was G at the time. And basically, in my head, I'm thinking it was me because since he was DL, he didn't want his parents, if they ever went into his phone, he didn't want his parents to know that he was texting, you know, me all these things, because I'm a boy, and his parents thinking we're best friends, and, like, they treat me like family, and they literally, I had to go to church with them every Sunday, I had to do prayer circles every night, it was ridiculous, like, I, no offense to anybody with religion, but I am not a Christian, I'm not say I'm not a Christian, I'm just not religious, I'm not like, all that stuff, and I literally, and I never was, and I, I was doing things that I would just never do, but anyways, um, I just remember that, um, one time he went into the shower, and this is when, like, all hell broke loose. I had got his phone, this is the first time I ever been into a guy's phone, I only had one ex before him, but I just never thought to go into the guy's phone, because I... Me being a religious, never thought that I was going to get cheated on. Even though, literally, my last relationship had just cheated on me. But he was, he was the kind of person that you weren't going to be too surprised that he cheated on you. Just saying. If you ever see this video, there's no hate to you. You know, we still cool, my ex, Josh. <laughs> but, um, basically, uh, I went into T's phone. And I had, <sighs> I remember I had went to the messages and I had typed in the code or whatever. And as I'm going farther and farther into like his phone applications, I don't know why, but something inside of me in my heart was like racing. I don't know what it was. I don't know how fast it was going, but I just know that my heart was like pounding because at this point, you know, intuition, whatever it was, basically, I guess, gearing me up to see what I was going to see. And I was not expecting to see what I was going to see. I can tell you that. I can tell you that right now. And so I saw G's, um, I saw G's number and I was like, why would G's number be in like a secret message folder or whatever? Like, that's his best friend. They know about her. Like, they didn't really like her. Like, they like me. But they, it, it's a girl. Like, I was confused. So I'm scrolling. I'm not seeing too much. And I keep scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. And then I remember there was, I can't wait to kiss you and all this stuff. And me still being oblivious, I was, like, thinking, like, oh, that's not too much because in Miami, what a lot of my friends did when I would hug, because a lot of my friends were Hispanic. G was Hispanic. T was mixed with uh, Hispanic. Or uh, I don't know exactly what, uh, like, like 
little thing they was. But I just know, I think G was Mexican actually. And then T, he was some some type of islander or Hispanic. But um, uh, a lot of the times when you greet like your friends and stuff, like you hug them and then like you kiss them on the cheek or whatever. So that's, I'm thinking about that. I'm literally trying to think about everything besides what's actually going on here. So basically, I remember I'm saying, I can't wait to hug you. I can't wait to kiss you. And then I start saying, boyfriend, girlfriend, I love you so much. Just really getting really intimate. The, the things that basically he was saying to her was the things he was saying to me. And I was like, when I tell you, I kid you not, I was so freaking pissed. I was so, so, so. This, I feel like this is, this was my first psychotic break. And my very first psychotic break. And I just remember. I just remember, I feel like I saw black. Like, I really wanted to trash his shit. Like, I kid you not, he had a big flat screen TV. He had a game system and everything. I really, 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 really wanted to break all of it. I, I kid you not, I wanted to destroy his whole shit. But I did not. If it was me today, I probably would have. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. But I really wanted to just break it. And so I just walked out, and like this is the start of the weekend. But by this time, we eight nine months in. Like I'm coming, I come on his house every weekend. I got my clothes. I'm ready for church. Like it's Friday, and so I'm walking, and I got my bag with me. I'm walking, and like his brother and sister, like Kenny, where are you going? And I was like, Oh, I'm I'm just getting something. I left something at home. They know I live only like five minutes away. Probably barely even that. So I was like, Okay, we'll see you when you get back. And I'm just like, Yeah, yeah. And then I walked, when I tell you, I was so hurt. Mind you, he was in the shower the whole time. He don't even know what's going on. I get home, I am, and I went to my siblings' room, and I just locked myself in there, and I just started bawling, crying. And I was on a laptop, beat for some reason, and I was on a laptop, I'm on Facebook, and he messaged me, he was like, the BS that he told me, he was like, Kenny, I am so sorry. Don't let my mistakes ruin anything for everybody else. I'm so sorry. Da, 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 da. I wanted to kill him. I wanted to kill that man. When I tell you I was pissed, I was pissed. Like, oh my God, I was so angry. And um, I just remember, I just, I really felt like I went through a great depression. Like, I was one of those, like, you know, like the girls on the TVs, when they just go through a breakup and like they're in their room, they're close up in the room for like a week. And they look a hot ass mess. They're not eating and not sleeping. They're just crying. Literally, I kid you not, that was me for like a good week. I literally just slept, cried, slept, cried, went to the bathroom, slept, cried, slept. I don't remember eating. I don't remember doing anything. I remember it got so bad. I told my mom. My mom sent me to my aunt's because she didn't. My mom was always at work, so she didn't want me being by myself. So my aunt, I was with my aunt and my brother. And basically, they was really trying to cheer me up. I remember one time they took me to Dave and Buster's or whatever. And they, I remember I sat there and I was looking at couples. Like, it literally felt like a movie scene. I sat there looking at couples. And, like, I was just, like, I just put my head down on the table. And I put the menu on my face. And I just started bawling. Like, I just couldn't. I never felt so much gut-riching hurt and pain in my life. <laughs> like, I thought I was going to die. I kid you not. I thought I was going to die of a heartbreak. That shit hurt it so much. And, basically... I remember, I don't know what came over me, but after a while, this is when Kick, if, oh, I'm aging myself, but this is when Kick was really popping. I, I used to kick him all the time. For some reason, I just wanted him to respond to me for some reason, because he didn't respond to me when I kicked him. And, like, I was texting him, like, I did something wrong, but for some reason, I just wanted to have communication with him for some reason. I don't, I don't really know why, but I was just texting him, texting him, texting him, and he eventually texted me back, and then I text G. And G texted me, and I was like, I just want to know why. Like, why from the beginning? Why would you do this? Like, we were so close. Like, why would you do this to me? And you want to know the BS that she told me? Still to this day, I feel, I, I, I just don't understand, like, why I was picked out. Maybe because I was the new kid at the time or whatnot. I don't know. But she straight told me that they had planned this, basically. It wasn't just... Uh, I wasn't uh, like point pinpointed out, but they was like whoever they get into a relationship with in high school, they're gonna be with them through high school, do whatever however long, and then once they graduate, it was just gonna be them. Like no matter as soon soon as graduation, 
them. When I tell you I was so mortified, I was so disgusted because I, I, I felt the fire come into me. Because when I get angry, I feel angry like right here, right in my chest. And like I feel like it started like pumping. I started feeling it because then I started thinking, since day one, you knew you was going to do this to me. Literally almost a year in and you knew it wasn't going to work out. I planned on, I was so homesick, I planned on going back to St. Louis, which I was, I did. But I was planning on going back to St. Louis, but I kept talking to both of them like, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go to St. Louis, I'm going to finish out school or whatever, and then I'm going to come back, we're going to live together. We're going to like be like a big happy family, blah, 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 blah. We're all making plans, we're looking for apartments. We're talking about we're going to go to the same college. Like, we was literally, I was literally building my future around them, and I was really going to do that. And all of that was a lie. Like, literally, it was, I was so mortified. Like, when I tell you, I didn't know what to think. I even went so far to be like, you know what, G? It's okay, I understand. You love him. I just want to see you one last time before I leave for St. Louis. And she was like, I don't know if that's right. When I tell you, if she would have met up with me, and this is the younger me, I was going to say, I probably wouldn't do it in the future and right now, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been in this situation, but when I tell you, I want to beat the shit out of her. I was trying to be as nice as possible to meet up with her and be like, I just want to see you one last time until I leave because I was going to wring her fucking neck. I promise you. It, it would, I, it, it would have been, yeah, it would have been crazy because I, when I say, I was thinking about all the things that we talked about, how close we got, everything we've been through, and they did that to me. I was mortified. And basically that's how I found out that, you know, my ex cheated on me with my best friend and with his best friend. <sighs> but long story short, after that, me and T did presume conversation, but... I remember when I went to St. Louis, I had got back with my ex. I felt so good about this. I remember I got back with my ex. And I was like, he told me, he was like, I love you. And I just want to make things work. And I was like, okay, I love you too. Hung up. Never spoke to that man ever again. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it was really, like, all over the place. I know, like, I stopped a little couple times. But hopefully you won't see it because I'm going to edit that shit. But I really hope you enjoyed my first video. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope I didn't go on a tangent. I hope you. I hope it was a cohesive story. I hope because I want to start doing more things like this. But I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, please. Because I really would enjoy it. I don't know. I'm sorry. I really would appreciate it. Oh, my God. I really would appreciate it. And that's pretty much all I have. I'm going to come out with a lot of more different things like fashion. I want to talk about like just random topics, lifestyle, like just all kind of things like this. It's just like just me. This is all me. I'll put all my social medias in like the comment section below so you can follow me, email me, snap me, tweet me, all this stuff. Like I just really hope you guys enjoy it. And that's all I have for you guys today. So bye.